hello again beautiful people and welcome once again to my channel as you guys saw on the thumbnail then you know that this is a collab video so let us get started so i'm doing a collab with my girl natty knots here on youtube and i'm going to be doing the daytime look and she's going to be doing the nighttime look for you guys so i am now applying my foundation which is the custom cover drops by cover fx i primed with my hourglass mineral veal primer so I'm just blending in my foundation and then next up I'm applying my favorite concealer this is the LA girl pro conceal in the shade toffee and once I've pretty much applied the amount that I need I'm going to blend that out with my beauty blender making sure to have a seamless finish in my concealer because I absolutely love this stuff and I'm just now doing the same to the other side and then the next thing that I'm going to do is that I'm going to immediately set that with my Ben Nye uh, powder in Topaz. So this stuff is TheBomb.com. It keeps my concealer in place and it does not crease. So once I've gone ahead and set my concealer, I am then going to um, set the rest of my face. And I'm just setting my face with my... Um, black radiance setting powder in the shade ebony and just making sure to have a smooth finish I'm then moving on to the eyes so I'm applying my NK shadow base and you can pretty much get this at your local beauty supply and so applying that all over the lid up towards the brow bone making sure that it is blended out really really well so I'm just using my fingers and then next up taking my shade and light palette by Kat Von D um, I then went ahead and applied the shade I believe Lucius and I mixed that with a deep brown and I'm just applying that all over my lid to pretty much make a flesh tone color and now I'm going to go ahead and apply red wine by Sephora collection and this is a matte shadow so don't worry guys every little thing that I use will be down in the description box in case you guys are wondering but yes this is red wine by sephora collection and i'm just focusing that on my um outer corner and then blending it up into my crease and this is just a pro blending brush by sephora collection and i'm just sweeping that same color along my bottom lash line and just pretty much completing the look because i'm not going to do too much to my eyes now I'm just applying a nude brown shadow by Sephora Collection and this one's in the shade Coffee Break. So this is pretty much what's going to help blend those colors together but also make it look like a nice daytime fall look. Um, and I just absolutely love these colors together. <laughs> together. It looks really natural and um, just really seamless and I think this would look great on any skin tone. Now I'm just going back in with my blending brush by Sephora Collection and I am making sure to blend out any harsh lines. And once I've done that, I'm just now highlighting my brow bone and um, I'm pretty sure that I mixed Morocco and Fudge for my Anastasia World Couture Palette. And now I'm just lining my eyes. This is the Lancome Liquid Pencil in Black. This stuff is the bomb.com because it goes on super black and it stays on all day and now I'm just tight lining my upper lash line so don't mind my crazy eyes <laughs> and I'm just prepping my top lash line for liner so I did line my eyes off camera if you guys want to see a tutorial on that then please let me know in the comments down below I am now priming my lashes with my Tarte opening act lash primer you do not need to prime your lashes like I do if you don't have a lash primer it's perfectly fine but I just love using this stuff um, makes my lashes look 10 times longer and this is just the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara that I'm applying directly on top of that lash primer so as you guys can see that lash primer makes a world of a difference <laughs> to my lashes and I'm just coating my bottom lashes with the NYX Provocateur Mascara for bottom lashes and some blush this is the hourglass um luminous flush blush and then right on top of that i'm just applying my illuminator by wet n wild which is my absolute fave i've been using this for years like literally years on years this is like my go-to illuminator and now i'm just moving on to the lips which is literally my favorite part in my whole 
makeup routine and I'm just filling in my lips with a brown lip liner, literally brown by NK Cosmetics. And then right on top of that, I'm applying the shade Revealed by Buxom in their matte foundation lipsticks. And right on top of that, I went ahead and applied Lolita by Kat Von D. You don't necessarily have to use um, a combination of these two like I did. You know, any brown or any nude, you know, pink will do with a brown lip liner and you'll get the same effect. And I'm just cleaning up around um, the edges of my lips with that same lip liner just to clean it up. And this is pretty much my face. And uh, here is the finished look. So I hope you guys all enjoyed this tutorial. Please make sure to check out Naughty Knot's tutorial for the nighttime look. And I will see you guys all in the next one. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.